Hey everyone. Hey, uh, this video uh, I'm going to go into a little bit more on the <clears throat> on the details of the engine that's used on this ultralight powered parachute of mine. One of the things that really appealed to me um, when I before I purchased this powered parachute was uh, the the engine is a four-stroke engine, which is very rare on a a lightweight powered parachute like this, um, and uh, the fuel efficiency is really good. It's 1.2 gallons per hour. Amazingly low fuel consumption. It's very quiet uh, uh, also, and that's something that really appealed to me. So um, I'm going to show you uh, some of the details of this engine. Um, this is uh, I'm going on the sixth season of flying with this powered parachute. and. Uh, it's been rock solid. I mean, I haven't had any trouble with this thing at all. Um, so let me just uh, show you a little bit more about uh, this uh, this powered parachute engine. So first of all, it, it's a Generac engine. Notice the nameplate there. Generac is a company that makes generators for for homes. And this engine is designed for durability, to run day after day, week after week. Very durable. Um, it's a very low RPM engine. Uh, 3,500 RPM is, is maximum speed on this engine. Um, about 2,800 RPM is level flight. Um, and then, like I said, it'll it'll go as high as 3500 rpm the uh, the climb rate uh, at 3500 rpm in calm air is between 200 and 300 uh, feet per 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 minute uh, so it's not it's not like a screamer but it it does have a healthy climb rate uh, also um, notice it has carburetor heat um, I've actually never had to use it, but the way it works is there's a, a de-icing valve right here that you can pull out, and what it does is it there's a uh, there's actually a flapper valve underneath where the air cleaner is that instead of taking air in just from the outside, it actually draws heat off this exhaust line. Uh, into the system. But again, like I said, I've been flying, this is my sixth season, and I've really never ever had to use it. But it is there if, if it is needed. It does have a fuel pump. It has two fuel filters. This, fil this uh, filter here is just before it goes into the carburetor, and it's drawing fuel from this fuel tank right down here. It's a five gallon fuel tank. It has a fuel gauge. And notice another thing I really like, it has a it has a petcock on the bottom here where you can drain a little bit of fuel out of the system before you start just to make sure there's no condensation. And then again, there's a fuel filter here. But that's really worked great. Um, it has a, a just a simple belt drive system here, you can see. Um, and again, in, in five and a half years of flying, I've never had to do anything to it. There is a cam adjustment in here, so if this belt ever starts to loosen, you can uh, loosen these tangs, loosen this bolt, and you can advance the, uh, the cam in here to tighten this, this belt. But it's been rock solid. Just simple exhaust on both sides. You can see here just a real simple exhaust system. Um, uh, it has a, a starter. Um, the way this uh, operates and what I really like about it, you don't have to pull start it or anything. There's a, there's a key system right here. You turn this key on, you push this red button, and the, and the engine starts. And the only instrumentation for the motor is this, it's called a tiny tack, where you can read uh, you, the, the, the speed of the engine while you're flying. And it also has a Hobbs meter. That, that's built in to show me how many hours of time that, that you actually have on the unit. Um, it's equipped with a, a cartridge oil filter. 
just spin it off, spin another one on, and it's set up so um, when you drain your oil, all you have to do is just take this plug out and the oil drains right out of here. The oil is added here, right on, right on top. And there's just a dipstick to, to uh, measure your oil level. It doesn't appear to you know, burn any oil or anything like that. The spark plugs, I've checked them many times, are just nice and clean and tan the way they're supposed to be. Here's your tack pickup right here. Um, let's see, it has rubber mounts, you can see these rubber mounts on both sides that dampen the vibration of the motor when the, when the power parachute is running. Let's see, it's very quiet also. The engine, it sounds almost like a lawnmower, not a whole lot of uh, noise at all while this thing is running, which I really like. It does have an oil cooler. You can see this oil cooler right back here. And the, the whole engine is air cooled. There's no water cooling, no complications with thermostats or water pumps or leakage or anything like that. Very simple, very simple uh, motor that's very durable. It comes with this, um, let me show you. It's a, it's a Tennessee prop very high-pitched prop. Uh, with this prop at 3500 RPM, it pushes uh, about 275 to, to 300 pounds of thrust. So when you give this thing full power, man, this thing takes off. Um, it doesn't have a generating system. Um, to, to save weight, what, what they've done is there's a battery here. It's just like a little lawnmower battery. In like once a month or so, I'll just charge it. But all that battery is used for is just to start it. And it has plenty of power. It starts right up. Um, and like I said, there's no charging system, so it doesn't maintain a charge. But it only takes about once a month to just put a trickle charger on it for a couple hours, and it's, re it's ready, to, ready to go again. So there's been no, no problems with that. I don't think I mentioned it's a 992 cc engine, 33 horsepower. Um, one other thing is um, you've probably seen um, powered paragliders um, talk about torque and when they're flying, if they give it full power, um, you know, it twists, it turns the, their unit. I don't really notice anything with this. I can give this thing full power and there's no turning or no twisting no torque that I can really feel in flight, even though it definitely has a, a high torque system. Um, probably because of the weight, um, this, you know, the powered parachute weighs about 254 pounds, which you don't really have with a powered uh, para, paraglider. <clears throat> One other thing uh, about this um, engine is, like I said, I purchased it about six years ago. And uh, my understanding is Generac has sold the, the rights and the patents to this engine to Subaru. So Subaru now makes an engine, this engine. And my understanding is actually they uh, have, have found a way to increase the horsepower to about 40 horsepower. Um, but um, I, really, I really don't need any more power than what I have. It has plenty of power to it now. So I'm not sure uh, what has happened since I purchased mine, but I still can get parts for this a unit uh, through Subaru. Um, and um, my, my understanding is what I've been told is the time between rebuilds on this unit is like 3,000 hours, which is probably my entire lifetime. So um, unlike some of these two-stroke motors that have rebuild times of like 300 hours and even less sometimes there's no uh, there's no uh, problems with this unit um, I, I hope this answers some of the questions you have about the engine use on this uh, powered parachute like I said I, it really has served me well um, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon thanks